Good day, grade tens. Welcome to the third lesson in algebraic expressions in week one of grade ten maths. Today we are going to be looking at rounding numbers. Let's watch a little video that introduces rounding to us. Round nine point five six four, or nine and five hundred sixty four thousandths, to the nearest tenth. To the nearest tenth. So let me write it a little bit larger. Nine point five six four and we need a round to the nearest tenth. So what's the tenth place? The tenth place is right here. This right here represents five tenths. This is the ones place, this is the tenths place, this is the hundredths place, and this is the thousandths place right here. So we need a round to the nearest tenth. So if we round up, this will be 9.6. If we round down, this will be 9.5. And just like regular rounding, when we're not dealing with decimals, you move to one spot, or you look at one place to the right, or one place lower, I guess, and you say, is that 5 or larger? If it is, you round up. If it isn't, you round down. 6 is definitely 5 or larger, so we want to round up. We want to round up up. So this 9.564 becomes 9.6. 9.6, or we could call this 9 and 6 tenths. And then we're done. Right, now that we've looked at that, we can see that what did we say? We saw that if the next digit is bigger than 5 or equal to 5, we round up. If it is smaller than 5, then we round down. So now let's look at some examples. If you're rounding off to two decimal places, we look at the third decimal place. So if we look at 3.43265, I just want to get my pen up. We can see that the third decimal place is that there, 2. Okay, that's the first. 4 is our first decimal place, 3 is our second decimal place, and 2 is our third decimal place. Decimal place means behind the decimal, which is a comma. Now 2 is smaller than 5, therefore we take our 3 and we just leave it as it is, so it becomes 3.43. Nice and easy. Right, let's look at another example. This is a slightly more tricky one, but not huge. We've got 6.789. We don't look at the 6.4. We don't care. That we ignore. We look at the third decimal place. The third decimal place is 9. 9 is bigger than 5, so therefore we're going to take our 8 and we're going to round up. So therefore that becomes 6.79. Right, let's do a couple more examples. The reason this is important is because you'll notice that here it says two decimal places. Now, as you do science, if you do science, um, you will be told you always have to round to two decimal places until you get to the end of grade 12. Um, if you're doing life sciences or if you're doing maths, they might tell you to do other things like rounding to one or whatever. So you need to always check what your decimal places that you need to round to. So this says we have to round to two decimal places. So we look at the third number. The third number is smaller than five. Therefore, this is just naught comma three three. Next one. This time we are rounding to one decimal place. So we look at the second place, which is again smaller than five. So it's 345.13. 345.13. Sorry. But this tells me, the three tells me that it's lower than five. I'm rounding to one decimal place. So my answer, therefore, is 345. Point one. Okay, now we're going to three decimal places. So we're considering the fourth number. The fourth number here is seven, which is bigger than five, which means that our third decimal place is going to be rounded up. So that becomes eight comma two three six. Right, that's not too bad. I'm going to look at, <laughs> it's quite a nasty one this. Shall I give you a little chance to try it and then see what you think? Okay, just pause the video here and see if you can do this. Right, let's have a look at it. It says that it's rounding to two decimal places, to two decimal places. So in fact, we're supposed to be rounding this off and that means we have to be looking at 
nine. Hmm. But do you see that nine is bigger than five? So it means that nine has to round up. But what happens with this when we round up? It actually means that we round this up as well and then we end up with 50. There is nothing we can do about that. If we are rounding up to the second decimal place and this is a 9 and that's a 9 and that's a 9, the 9 rounds this up to a 0 because it's a 10 which then carries over to there which rounds this up so we end up with 50. That's all we can do. There's nothing else. Right. Grade 10, I hope that you've learned how to now round up or down accurately. Please practice this and then do the assessment at the end of the section. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.